So you know that solids have particles that vibrate in a fixed place. And you know that liquids have particles that slide past one another. Just like those two primary states of matter have particles that move in a unique way, gases also have particles that move in a unique way and give gases their properties. In this lesson, we're going to connect the kinetic theory of matter and gases, the third primary state. Now again, the kinetic theory of matter says that all particles are moving all the time and they're gonna move differently depending on the state of matter and the temperature of the substance. Gas particles move freely. They are not really attracted to each other, so they're just going to move around wherever they please. If you were to pour gas into a container, the gas particles would not remain confined to a fixed volume at the bottom of the container. They would just spread out to fill the container as full as they can. And the gas particles also will not remain in a fixed shape. They're just gonna take on the shape of the entire container. So gases don't have a fixed volume or a fixed shape. They will spread out to fill whatever area they are in. A good example of this occurs when you're cooking at home and the substances that you are cooking release gases into the air. Those gases that they release aren't confined to the area right above the stove. They spread throughout the house. They continue to spread out until they're eventually so spread out that you can't even detect them with your nose anymore. That's an example of how gases will spread out to take up as much space as they possibly can. They don't have one particular fixed volume or a fixed shape. Some examples of gases would be things like steam, which is a very common gas made from heating up liquid water past its boiling point. Chlorine is an element that makes a gas at room temperature. Chlorine is a yellow gas that is extremely toxic to breathe in. And then finally, if you've ever seen a power plant smokestack seemingly releasing a huge amount of gas into the atmosphere, that gas consists of two different parts. The part that you see is water vapor that just hasn't had a chance to spread out into the air yet, so you can still see it as a cloud. And the part that you don't see is carbon dioxide gas. What characterizes these substances as gases is that they have particles that have so much energy that they are no longer attracted to each other, so the particles just move around freely. If you heat up most liquid substances to a high temperature, one of two things will happen. They will either degrade and turn into a substance that's completely different because a chemical change happens, or that liquid substance will evaporate and become a gas of the same substance. That's what's happening in the case of steam. The water is heated up so much that it's still water, but it's water in its gaseous state, and that is steam. Here's an example of what gas particles look like. Now you'll notice here is a liquid that is having so much energy added to it that the particles of the liquid are escaping and becoming gas particles. And those gas particles are just moving around freely wherever they please because that's what gas particles do. When I show you a gas in this class, I'm usually gonna represent it like this particles that are very, very spread out from one another, and there's not really a lot of them in the space. This is oxygen gas, which is made up of two oxygen atoms bonded together. This is the gas that God has designed your body so that you need to breathe this in for your body to be able to make energy and survive. So again, the kinetic theory of matter states that all particles are moving all the time, Gas particles move freely wherever they please to fill whatever space they're put in so they don't have a fixed volume or a fixed shape. And just like the other two primary states of matter, when you heat up a gas, the particles move faster. They're still moving freely because that's what gases do, but the particles are just moving much more quickly than when they were cool.